Hey there, Griff Hamlin here from Blues Guitar Unleashed. Welcome, thanks for joining me in this video. I wanted to talk about uh, attack, right hand or picking hand, if you're left-handed, I suppose it would be the other hand, um, but how we attack the strings, whether we use a pick, whether we use our fingers, or whether we even use maybe something like a thumb pick, right? There are a lot of different options. And if you've, maybe you've always used your fingers and maybe you've wondered about using a pick or maybe you've always used a pick and maybe I can convince you to maybe start adding in some fingers, right? There's a lot of different options and they all boil down to the sound. It all boils down to the sound, okay? As far as I'm concerned, you should be comfortable using a pick or your fingers, uh, you know, brushing, all kinds, there's all kinds of different ways to attack your strings. And I think you want to get at least a minimum amount of comfort with pretty much all of them because they all have their place if they give you the sounds you're looking for. So a couple of, a couple of options, right? Of course we have a pick, right? I mean, this is, this is probably the most common approach is to use a pick. <laughs> And we get a definite sound from a pick. But maybe you think, ah, you know, what? I, I kind of prefer my fingers, right? Well, you notice that you get a different sound. Particularly if you kind of really pick hard. Right? As opposed to, there's definitely a different sound. What if I'm doing something like, um, I'm playing a chord. Right? Well, what if I get rid of the pick? Notice that I can get really dynamic with that. as opposed to I may not have that kind of dynamic ability with a pick that I have with my fingers. I might want both. Right? Maybe I want that attack. But I want to be able to go nice and nice and slow or nice and light with that, right? Um, maybe I'm doing, you know, sort of Right? And I want it to be nice and light. I could do that all with my fingers. But if I use the pick, as well as my fingers, I get the same idea. But I can jump in and, and grab the pick right away. I'm not having to put it somewhere, right? If I have to tuck it away, and you can kind of see, I've just got it in the palm of my hand. It's a little really hard to, to show that, but I just tucked it into the palm of my hand, right? And if I do that, right? But then if I want to switch, I can do that. If I don't have that, there's kind of no way <laughs> I'm going to get that sort of attack with my thumb. Now there's other things like maybe you like a more country kind of sound. And you might want to use your fingers for all of that. I kind of pretty much whenever I use my fingers it becomes Albert King. That's just the sound. That's the sound that I hear in my head when I when I switch over to my fingers. But I use my fingers and my pick together so much for getting like chords. I do this all the time. And you can see that I'm using my pick 
and a couple of fingers. So I'm using pick, pick, pick finger, finger. And again, it's because I like the sound, right? Could I, could I use that? Of course. But I don't like the sound as much. I feel like I have more control when I use the pick and the fingers. So again, my, my point here is that there isn't a single right way. There just isn't. They just give different sounds. And, and so often I hear like, oh, I only use my fingers or, oh, I only use a pick. Well, just at least take a little bit of time and, and try some. Uh, you know, if you have trouble and you drop your pick all the time, which, uh, you know, everybody kind of goes through a phase where they drop their pick all the time. You know, you can try something like a thumb pick. This is a, this is a Dunlop thumb pick. It just, you know, it ain't going anywhere. It's attached to my thumb. Now, I'm not, I don't use these but you certainly can, and it works just like a pick. But theoretically, it would give me both my, my, my thumb pick and my first finger, because I don't have to hold on to my pick anymore. And I guess, you know, on paper, that seems like the ideal solution. I never was able to really, really get used to it, um, you know, because of the fact that they're sort of built with a certain amount of pick showing, and, and I use very little. I would have to file them down to suit me. And you may find, uh, you know, that these work great for you. Maybe, it, maybe it's just the thing for you. I don't know. I'm just trying to show you all of the options because what's super important, at least, again, I'm gonna say this, I know I'm repeating myself. What's most important is that you have at least some comfort level with a pick and some comfort level with your fingers so that you can get the sound from here out here. That's all that fundamentally matters, okay? So just try, just try stuff. Don't worry if it's correct or incorrect. That's not the big thing right now. Try a little bit of each, just kind of play with it, see what works for you. If you find that, hey, I'm really not very good at using my fingers, okay, well, there are, there are ways to pursue that. Or, hey, I'm really not very good using a pick. There are ways to pursue that. But for now, just play around. Choose a lick maybe that you play or choose a chord that you already play and try it you know, with your, with pick and fingers. Maybe an A chord, right? Instead of strumming it, pick it. Or a D. Or a C. Or a G. Right? Or maybe you go like that, and you play that lick. Well, try with, a, with pick and two fingers. And then a pick. Or instead of Maybe you try with it with your fingers. Right, a little four note solo. And if you don't have the four note solo, I'll try and remember to leave a link, uh, a link underneath this video. Um, but that's a that's a good place maybe to try. Hey, how many of the notes in the four note solo can I can I play with my fingers if I normally play with a pick? Um, or, <clears throat> excuse me, how many of the notes can I play with my pick if I normally play with my fingers? Just, just, I just want you to get a little bit of comfort on both ends. All right? So, that's going to wrap it up for me today. Thanks for joining me. Again, I'm Griff Hellman from Blues Guitar Unleashed. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.